Thank you for choosing Budget Rent-A-Car. Today we would like to share some important information with you prior to your trip. In this video we will share our list of top 7 areas which we feel require extra care when driving in Japan. For the sake of your loved ones as well as everyone else on the road, please take a moment to watch the full video. So let's get started. Number 7 on our list is be mindful of scooters and other two-wheeled motor vehicles. Now let's have a look at what such an accident actually looks like. Let's take a closer look at what actually happened here. You'll notice that the driver here did not notice the moped approaching from the left hand rear. Surprisingly, a growing number of traffic accidents in Japan are the result of drivers who fail to notice nearby scooters and other two-wheeled motor vehicles. Number 6 on our list is maintain a safe driving distance. Here it looks like an incoming vehicle approaching from the left tried to make a U-turn without warning, prompting the vehicle in front to brake suddenly. Now by maintaining a safe driving distance with the vehicle in front of you, you can easily prevent even unforeseeable accidents such as these from taking place. Number 5 on our list is, look out for pedestrians and bicycles. Here a bicycle appeared to come out of nowhere right into the path of the vehicle. It is best to drive with the mindset that a pedestrian or bicycle may indeed appear out of nowhere at any given time. Number 4 on our list is speeding. Here we see a vehicle that failed to slow down when approaching a curb, causing the driver to lose control of the steering wheel and spin out. Always pay close attention to the legal speed limit and refrain from driving in a way that may put your life and the life of others at risk. Number 3 on our list is turning at an intersection. Half of all traffic accidents take place at intersections. Here a motorcycle came right out from behind a bus. It is difficult to foresee all possible risks at intersections given their high volume of vehicular traffic. So it is important to stay alert and proceed with caution at all times. Now let's take a closer look at how to make turns at an intersection. At intersections without a traffic light, you must let the vehicle with the right of way go through first. To determine who has the right of way, refer to indications such as road signs, whether the center line of the road continues through the intersection or not, or based on which road is clearly the wider or larger road. Even when there is a traffic light, there is a difference between a regular traffic signal and a traffic signal with an arrow. In the case of a traffic signal with an arrow, you may only proceed if the arrow pointing towards the direction you wish to turn is lit up. Number 2 on our list is Sudden Lane Changes. Changing lanes suddenly is dangerous both in and near intersections. And number one on our list is, the use of seatbelts and car seats is mandatory. The rate of fatalities occurring when not wearing a seatbelt or not using a car seat is 14 times higher than that compared to when used properly. It is required by law that all passengers, not just the front passenger's seat but also the back seats as well, must keep their seatbelts fastened and that all children under the age of 6 must also ride in a car seat. And now for one additional word of caution. Recently there was an accident which took place at a railroad crossing in Hokkaido when a train collided with a passenger car driven by foreign visitors. Now using this accident as a point of reference, let's review the rules of crossing railroad tracks in Japan. Take care at railroad crossings. Regardless of whether there is a railroad crossing gate or signal present, when crossing railroad tracks you must first come to a complete stop and look in front of you, determining in particular whether there is sufficient space on the other side for you to cross, and then look left and right before proceeding. If the railroad crossing gate closes while you're already in the middle of the railroad crossing, remain calm and quickly make your way to the other side. If your vehicle breaks down and you are unable to move it while in the middle of the crossing, press the emergency button on the railroad crossing signal and alert the train conductor of the dangerous situation immediately. This concludes our list of the most important things to keep in mind when driving in Japan.
In addition to these points of caution, drivers who are used to driving on the right side of the road should be extra careful not to accidentally drive on the wrong side of the road, as this can result in a very serious accident. So that's it for today's video. We hope you found it useful. Use this information as a point of reference and have a safe and pleasant journey discovering Japan by car. And of course, come back and return your rental car to budget safe and sound.